this is Steven. And I'm Ryan. And this is Roaring Tiger's Garage. And today we're going to show you how to change the inner and outer wheel bearing on your Porsche 944 Turbo. So let's get to it. Do is remove the caliper and the rotor assembly. So drop the trap door down. Note that we pre-positioned a wire hanging off the strut yeah. to support this. You don't want it hanging on the on the hydraulic lines. Okay, now we're going to remove the rotor from the hub. Sometimes these are seized. You just have to be patient with them. They get baked on. So this car has not had the rotors on a very long time. Oh. Oh. So, this is wrecked. So this will come off really easy, yeah. but in the, case, in the event they don't, there's a threaded hole here that you can put an M8 in, and it'll put, and there's two of them. Yeah, you can basically put an M8 bolt through there, and it'll pull it off the hook for you. Right, it'll act as a press, and you'll be able to get it off. All right, the next thing we do is we've got to remove the hub cap. This is the only hub cap. The other things are called wheel covers. These are hub caps. All right, you need a punch, hammer. There's actually a groove right here. You can get you started. It's not rocket science. You just got to kind of, got to kind of bang on it. Get it going. Go around a couple times. I'm 
the pot. Oh, she's done. Hold it up. Ta-da! I'm kind of a neat freak, so I don't like to get dirty. There you go. Okay, guys, that's the race. Um, now we need to do the other one, but the other one, we're gonna have to put on the device to support on either side here, so it'll push out the bearing, the race, and the seal all at one time. All right, so we're gonna pop it up on the vise now. So we put it up on the vise, and we uh, punched out the bearing and the seal, but now we gotta get the race out. So we're heating up the outside of this side here. Here we go. We're done with there. We're gonna flip it over and we're gonna do the same thing with those two notches and punch that brace out, or that race. That race is in there. Coming in three minutes in there. Okay? guys we're gonna check out the fridge in the fridge we have put our bearings races and seals so they go in easier so we're using heat to expand the hub and we're using the freezer to shrink the bearings so we're using the freezer to shrink the bearings Action. okay guys so now we have to clean the inside of the hub thoroughly thoroughly because any dirt grit find its way to the wheel bearings and shorten the lives of the bearings. So we're using great clean and some paper towels to get the hub as clean as we possibly can, ready for our high performance grease and new wheel bearings. So you notice we've got it all kind of cleaned up, we've got all the grease out of both sides of it. Uh, also notice that I'm wearing leather gloves because this piece is still quite hot from being torched. We're probably gonna torch it just a little bit more before we drop the races in. Also, the races are just coming out of the freezer as well. And we're basically gonna use a, um, a, uh, a race set kit that we borrowed from uh, AutoZone. Alrighty, here we go. We got a steel driver here set that we borrowed from uh, AutoZone. It comes with a little punch. You basically put it on here, put the little screw in here. Yeah, so I'm still with my cumbersome gloves because this stuff is still hot. So, I know that's what she said. So, here we go, this is the race. It sits on just like that. Pop it down in here, <coughs> like so. Try to keep it as level as you can. And get ready, folks, it's gonna be loud because we're gonna be banging on it just a little bit. I'm gonna put a little hair protection on. Here we go. Right here. Okay. There you go. 
like so. Boom. Okay, this is on here at this angle here with the, with the uh, Allen wrench pointing down that direction. So that's the way we start it and get it spinning. screwdriver it's not a whole lot of force you can see here she she goes kind of freely but here she doesn't really spin too much so that's about right right about right about there okay not a whole lot of force just with a screwdriver now we're going to line up this here and we're going to tighten up that allen right there here we go and just going to make this kind of hand tight Let's call it snug. No torque spec here. I'm gonna go one more. That was just too easy. I know, that's what she said. She also said, you are a filthy animal. There we go, right there. See that? Right there. And you should be able to just kind of barely bump, you should be able to, with a screwdriver, bump and move this washer just a little bit. It should be have a little bit of resistance, just like I showed you there. Last up, hub cap's got to go back on. Start kind of square. Get your tap with the rubber mallet. And don't be shy, because these things are pretty tough. Take it home. There you go. All done. So that's how we basically do uh, inside and outside wheel bearings on a 944 turbo. Thank you for joining us. We're not going to spend the time putting the brake caliper back on because we know you all are smarter than that and you can figure that out. See you next time at Roaring Tigers Garage.